Um, a little bit about my history. So I came to this country when I was three years old, which is in 1996. And I grew up in a council estate in Stanhope Street. So what happened is where I was growing up, there wasn't a lot of opportunities to kind of do what I wanted to do. And I always wanted to be an actor, but I just felt like there was nowhere. I didn't know where to go, who I needed to contact, kind of what I needed to do. So when I got to the age of about 13, 14, I fell in love with music. <clears throat> and that was like rapping, singing, songwriting for people. So I attended a youth project from there. And then I always found in my music videos, I was always incorporating acting as well in general where I was always script writing, like I want this this way, I want this that way, sort of directing as well and, and being uh, acting as well. And my friends always used to say, you know, like you're really good at acting, but I just never knew where to take it or kind of what I needed to do with it. So it wasn't until I got to about 19, my friend was like, you know, there's this extras agency, you should think about joining it. And then I just signed up, thought, you know what, like, let, let's join it, see what it's about. So I joined it and then just being on set and seeing like the atmosphere and the way everything worked and I just ended up falling in love with acting again and I wanted to take it more seriously but then again I still didn't know where to take it so I stuck doing extra work and then fortunately for me I remember my agent at the time called me and said oh there's a film coming, coming down with Ken Loach. I was like all right. She's like, do you want to go on? I literally, it was for an extra part where I was initially going for, but the casting directors, they were just seeing everyone. <clears throat> so when I was in the room with the casting director, she was just asking a little bit about my background and things and where I grew up and my kind of ambitions. And from then she was just like, oh, there's a lot more to you than, than she thought. She was like, do you want to try out for a, pop -up, a proper part? So from then I got the call back and then I was in the room with Ken Loach and Paul Laverty. And then that was like so nerve wracking. You can imagine being in a room with those two and I just didn't know what to expect because there was no script given, nothing I needed to learn. It was just like, come here. <clears throat> so then in the room, I was given two scenarios and it was just improv and there was a camera roll and it was like, right, go and we'll tell you when to stop. So then I just kept going and I just felt like, oh wow, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just improvising. And uh, luckily for me, I got the call back and I got the part, which is China, which is Dan's next door neighbor. And now I've been picked as an associate artist, which is amazing because I believe I need that direction as an actor. And I'm the type of guy where I'm always trying to find the answer, but sometimes I may, may not know where to go. And I believe they're going to give me a sense of direction where to take my acting career. And I mean, everyone at Live Theatre has been amazing so far and kind. And I'm just looking forward to see what happens next. And at the minute, what I'm doing is I'm doing quite a lot of auditions as well. So I'm just waiting to see what the future holds.